My interest in traditional Chinese opera actually started when I finished my first degree in university and I was doing a research topic in, uh, in Bertel Brecht actually in German, in German theatre. Quite a long while after that that I started learning in Hong Kong from a very reputed Mei Lan Fang friend. And I have a great variety of students, always. Well, our members, as I mentioned before, they came from all walks of life. At one time, we also have had uh, an African lady, six or eight uh, British students. And the other person who's really been with me most seriously, the other British pupil, is Thomas Stell. And I'm very happy that he stayed with me. And he learns very hard. He puts a lot of time in it. And he comes, he mainly comes for private lessons because he wants intensive experience. And he would learn and he would sit at my desk, take down notes, observe me, remember and wants to understand all the movements. And I think that's why he is so good. So I'm very proud of these British people. I'm very happy to be able to teach traditional Chinese opera, Jingju, that's Peking opera, as well as Kunqi opera, here. Um, I think that it makes me feel that I am very useful. I am more than useful in England because of my ability to showcase this art, because I can perform, I can impress people. Uh, and also, I, can, I am at the stage where now I can present my students to perform. So I'm very happy at this stage of my career. Yeah, this is my, I call it my fourth career or maybe the fifth career or whatever. Um, uh, and I, I'd love to be able to continue in this as long as I am able to have students coming to me.